Hello and welcome. Nope. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Misty at Skeeter Jones and in this video I'm going to be doing a fun boxing, an unboxing of a thread up fun box that came to me from Swanee, Georgia. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing that I had on in my last video. The box, that really great box that came from Mechanicsburg that had the little sea urchins and the Yoda hood and the diamond watch. Uh, so I'm recording it right after I have finished recording that one, only this one is going to be going up a week later after I've had the drawing and everything. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and give it a look. It had some really interesting things in it. It was a really, really great box. So we will see. And that was from Mechanicsburg, and that's usually my second favorite warehouse to get boxes from. This one comes from uh, Swanee, Georgia. That's traditionally my favorite place to get a thread up fun box from or any thread up rescue box for that matter so uh, it's gonna have to work really hard to compete with that mechanics Berg box so it's gonna have to work really hard to compete with that mechanics bird box so let's jump right in and let's see what we get I have already um, cut the tape but I have not taken a peek okay oh I did not get the, the new psychedelic box but it does look like I got the psychedelic paper and in true Swanee style, I did get the sticker. They are the only location that does that. I wonder why there's not consistency across all the warehouses that they don't all do it the same way. So this was ordered May 13th out of uh, Swanee. Yes, that's not on the invoice, but it did come from Swanee. I've already marked out the shipping label or I would show that to you. So let's open up the paper and see what's in here. Okay, this looks like that Mechanicsburg box was pretty diverse. Um, and let me get the air pillows that Swanee is famous for. And I also got some of those in that Mechanicsburg box. But here is a general look. I don't really see a color theme in this one. I see some purple. I see some blue. I see some of this really really bright orangey red. I see something green. So let's see what we got. Coming right off the top, there's a really pretty bra. It is not, the color is not really coming across correctly on the screen. I can see that it looks kind of orange, but this is really like a um, sort of a neon red. It is new with tag, Victoria's Secret. Original retail, $60, $69, $69.50. It is a size 34A, and it has lace and little rhinestones on it. Still has the tag there. It is brand new. Lace around the sides, and it has the, the push-up pads in it. Let's see what line that is. Victoria's Secret. It does look like the older, the older tag. You know, it doesn't have like the whole booklet of tags that comes in the their uh, their intimates now. So I think this is a little bit of an older one. Oh, it has these little wings on the side. I wonder if this is their angels line, maybe, because it has this little ruffle that comes over your shoulder. I really wish the true color was, would show up on on camera because it's this really intense neon red. I'll see if I can take a picture after the fact and maybe uh, overlay it into the video. It'll be right here if I'm able to get that done so you can see a better representation of this color, but that's really pretty. There is a Vera Bradley. That color looks pretty true. Well, I assume it's Vera Bradley. Let's see. Yes, right there on the zipper pull. It is very clean, possibly new. It has, um, of course, the little kind of watermark branding inside there. Just a little cosmetic pouch. And that's really nice one. Vera Bradley doesn't really go for a whole lot. Here's a scarf. And I'm really pleased that it is 100% polyester because if you've watched many of my videos, you know how I feel about um, labeling on scarves. <laughs> so, 
I won't go into a rant about that today. Um, this is a navy print, and the color is very true on this one. It's a navy blue background with the yellow and kind of sage and mint colored little butterflies and leaves, just botanicals. And it's really large. It's a really large scarf. It's folded in half, so let's open it up. And that is it. It is not new. It has a rolled hem on the sides, but then on each end, it's sort of just a raw hem. This little frayed fringe. But that's really pretty. It would be a nice wrap or shawl, cable cover. There are lots of things you can do with scarves, especially large ones like that, from a, like using it as a wrap or using it to decorate your home. They're very versatile. Okay, this looks like, this name to me looks like something from Timu. Warm fleece lined inside, thick, comfortable material, stretchy waistband and legs. Ever, ever's we, ever sweet. I really don't know. Maybe some kind of shapewear, but it's fleece lined, uh, it's fleece lined tights. So sort of this nude color and there's the fleece lining. They do feel very soft and thick. It is not uh, not the season for it, at least here, but it's cold somewhere, right? And they are new, apparently. There's no uh, original price anywhere on the packaging and no tags on the item. But they do feel like they're new. So I'll have to look that up and see what I can find out about those. So far, it's it's okay. I'm you know, not a great box so far, but definitely okay. This is Victoria's Secret, still sealed in the plastic. Some sort of cosmetic scented candle. Okay, it's a scented candle. Mistletoe kiss. So this is left over from Christmas. Notes of midnight mischief, seasonal spirit, and holly days. So since those are the scent notes in it, maybe those are... Um, uh, perfume scent that they have out around Christmas, but Victoria's Secret Mistletoe Kiss Candle and the price tag has been removed. So I list Christmas items year-round because people buy them year-round. Here is a, a Bubba water bottle, which I hope is new because that would just be kind of gross. Um, it looks new. I don't see any dings or scratches. Yeah, that looks new. It comes with a, a replacement straw. So that's one of the things that makes me think it's new, because the replacement straw is still there. And um, you know, there's no marks or scratches or anything like that on it, but just a large water bottle. I have to look that up. It's not a Stanley, but it's a Stanley's, Stanley's friend Bubba, so maybe he's worth something. Okay, next. This is really small. Okay. This is very small and very odd. There's a pin. There's a chill pill pin with the little squeezy back on it, and it's sealed up, else I would, I would take that out of the plastic and show you the back. But it's just, when I say squeezy back, it's like the little tack pins that, that you have to squeeze the little levers together to pull the back off of it. Just a little gold tone with enamel, and it says chill pill. Again, it looks like probably a, a little Timu item. Next, bony, bony socks. Would you like some bony socks? Nylon, lycra, and spandex, and cotton. That's an odd name, 37 to 41. Looks like maybe made in Turkey. So I'm sure maybe that doesn't mean the same thing in Turkey that it means here, <laughs> but these are some, let me hold it over. Well, how can you see that? Here we go. Just some little no-show black bony socks. 
this is a really interesting box. It's not as impressive as Swanee usually is. So, I don't know. Maybe Swanee needs to move down a notch on my rating scale and Mechanicsburg needs to move up. Okay, we have a hat here that feels like it is made out of an old sofa. <laughs> not that it feels old, but it, it feels like it's made out of upholstery. This one's really, really strange. I don't see a name on it anywhere. It has the strings here for uh, adjusting the fit. Sort of like a floppy hat that wants to be a fedora. Because it's got the little, it's kind of squished so it's hard to tell, but it's sort of got that, um, you can tell where it was originally, you know, kind of fedora shaped <laughs> right there. That's a pretty strange hat. So, well, I, I think it looks better on than it does just in the box, I guess. But there it is. So, the couch hat. We have the, the bony socks and the couch hat. So, <laughs> hopefully somebody will want some of these things. Okay, next is a uh, Rosetti bag. I know someone who actually really likes Rosetti bags. Uh, myself, I prefer leather bags. Rosetti does not make leather. They make faux leather bags. But this is a shoulder bag with um, a strap. I don't know if this goes with the bag or not. Because there's not a way to attach it. It's just got these little ribbon ends like that. Um, I'll look at that in a minute. I'll see if it has anything to do with this bag. Can't really see in there, but it does look new. Let's pull the lining out so you can see the lining. Like there's no makeup and, and stuff like that on it. It's got a zipper pocket here on the inside and on this side. It has two slip pockets. It has the little key strap right there. And then it will zip shut on the top. And it has little outside pockets on each side. The bottom and corners look really nice. I think it's probably new. It's got this braided strap, little shoulder strap. And it's a, it's a nice size bag. I might put that in my uh, my purse sale. I'll be doing a purse sale here uh, pretty soon and I'll probably put this in that collab video. Now let's take a look at this and see if what actually this is. Maybe it's a belt that you tie in the front. Like that. Because there's really not a way that I can see that it could attach to the, the bag. But it's got this little silver tone, little curly things, little scrolly things on it. And this is very, um, flexible, you know, like you can tie it, but this part isn't so much, and it's sort of like a faux, a faux croc, faux patent croc embossed. I don't see any markings on it at all, so I don't know what brand it is or, or what it is. <laughs> so we'll call it a tie belt for now, unless anyone can uh, clue me in as to what that might be. So this box actually kind of, it's a nice box. It's an okay box, but it kind of lets me down as far as uh, locations go because I would not expect a box like this typically to come from Swanee. I would expect a box like this really to come more from Arizona, really. So, but let's count the items and, uh, and see how many we have. We've got the Rosetti bag. That's one. Then this, I'm just going to call it a tie belt, unless someone can educate me on that otherwise. So that's two. The Vera Bradley cosmetic case for three. Stanley's friend Bubba for four. The Victoria's Secret uh, candle for five. And the Chill Pill makes six. The Weird Fleece Tights for seven. 
<laughs> bony socks for eight. The scarf makes nine. Unbranded. I don't think I said that uh, when I was first showing it, but it's unbranded. That's nine. And I did get more than ten pieces. The Victoria's Secret bra makes ten. And the, the couch hat makes eleven. So this is my Squatty box, my latest one. And um, it's kind of a, um, it goes off the trail for the typical Swanee box in my experience. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought was the best piece, the worst piece, the weirdest piece. And uh, let me know if that's actually a tie belt, if anybody out there knows. And uh, again, I really appreciate you joining me for this ride. Please give me a subscribe if you've not already. Give me a thumbs up and a comment and share it with someone else who you think might also enjoy it. Again, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!